Hello friend, welcome to the Sunday show. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If it is your birthday, happy birthday. If you have been here before and you have not subscribed, do subscribe. Today, being in October, and I think it is the first Sunday in October, or not, uh, we're going to have a Halloween little build. It's a fun little build for any woodworker. It requires very minimal tools, and we're again going to use our power tools, but you can do that with hand tools. I actually went out and tried to find a, a coping saw just to demonstrate how it would work with a coping saw, but unbelievably, can you believe we couldn't find a coping saw? No. That, that is ridiculous. And I was wrong. This is the second Sunday in October. Okay, so the second Sunday of October. 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 <laughs> I don't know what October is, but it is the second Sunday of it. And <laughs> So, what we're going to do today, we are going to make uh, two small Halloween decorations that you can use as gifts or to decorate your house or your office, etc. So first, we're going to show you how to turn this, or a piece of this, into this. And then, we're going to show you how to turn this into this. So. Uh, we think they are fun souls. This is a fun soul, and we hope you're going to enjoy it. Now, uh, the pumpkin can of course be used for Thanksgiving decorations too. You can paint it. You can do. You can use a lot of your imagination in how to to make this even uh, more exciting. And clearly, you can put the light behind it, right? Yeah. To make it illuminescent. But uh, we're fairly pleased with the result. It does take time. It is a simple project, but it does take time. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. I mean, we have made some more complex projects that took much less time. And again, unlike us, be careful. We weren't paying attention. This knot here will give you a lot of grief when you try to carve this piece of wood. So right. be careful with knots. While it gives the piece a character, and you can see how big it is in the back. And that's the other neat thing about wood. You can see you have two choices of how you want to display this, right? Yeah. So stick around and we're going to show you how to do this in the bat, right? So for the bat, we're using this piece of plywood. That's a bat. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. It's not what it sounds like. That's why I clarified. Dang Those power tools. Dang power tools need to be plugged in. Real quick before you start. So we laid the bat out here just to see what width of board we would need for that. Set the guard and measured it to make sure it was straight. Now we're cutting the board. This is just a, huh? what, what would you call this, an eighth of an inch board? Oh. Yeah, eighth of an inch board, really thin. So let's double back. check that the butt fits here. Yep, plenty of room. We can bump it down to one side so we don't waste all that extra wood, but yeah. So you could cut it about there. A little bit more. I take the butt because I just broke the uh, sole. It 
wasn't nice. Huh? But that wasn't very nice. No, that was a kickback. Uh huh. So where is the butt? Alright, so now we have to trace it on that piece of wood, right? Yes. Alright. So now simply after we chose a template, we simply going to trace I don't have a copying so do I? I do not know. Extrapolating the edge of this wing based on the other. Because our pattern didn't entirely fit on a piece of paper, so see. And there we go. And there is our butt. Now before we start cutting, we are going to do the same with the pumpkin. You need to use the tape like through the nose to fold it. The tape's just gonna help hold it in place. Do you want me to center it or no. off to the side? What off to the side? Okay, and we'll just use the bottom edge as our edge of the pumpkin that way it's one less cut we have to make. So here you can just have it as big or as small as you want. I we chose this side because these are th things that we would plan to, to put on the wall. So you don't want them very small. But also they can be decorations for your office, right? Yeah. Or gifts for people. And if you just wanted to make it fall rather than specific to Halloween, you wouldn't necessarily have to cut out the uh, the face. You could right, just make the pumpkin, and then it would be fall decorations. And then you can, of course, paint them. I don't know if we're going to do that or not. What do you think? Be nice if we do, but we'll see what happens. Make sure to trace the inside. The face. And this is where a coping saw will, would come really useful. We're going to use a Dremel Max saw for expedi expediting the process. Expediency? Is that the word you're looking for?
So if you're using a copy saw or we're going to use a power coping saw right now but you will need a way to enter these cuts, the interior cuts so you need to create first a way for the blade to enter a wood so in each one of those we're going to simply make a hole in the nose, right? Mm -hmm. other side of the mouth just huh? to be safe. Do a second on the other side of the mouth just to be safe. And here we'll, we'll almost make the eyes we open it. Mm -hmm. So you need to put that down too, so okay. it helps you hold it. So we did make a few more relief holes to allow for the blade to easier turn.
Now the perfect tool for this would be a, a sander, I forget what they call them, that goes up and down, a drum sander. But well, we don't have a drum sander, but we have this. So we're going to sand the surfaces. To get rid of imperfections and things of this nature, right? Yeah. And while a drum sander makes this job much easier, a drum sander is about 6 to 70 bucks, and this was about 7. Trying to get that palm off, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it. And now I'm just getting rid of the the rough edges. Yeah, the rough edges. And you can spend a lot of time here, depending on how perfect you want this to look. Right. You, want, you don't want to stain this. No, not right now. Where is the... This is our episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you didn't, rumor has it the other button works as well. Share, subscribe and comment. And uh, thank you for supporting the channel so far. We are well on our way to a thousand subscribers. Uh, I checked a few minutes ago and we are 950 one or 52 subscribers so we need less than 50 subscribers to hit our thousand subscriber goal so thank you for your support we really appreciate it we'll see you again on wednesday i hope you enjoyed this little build and you're going to use what we saw you here to make some fun projects for yourselves we'll see you soon